So let's pray together. Lord, we, we have decided to follow Jesus and we don't want to turn back. We thank you that the, the power of sin has been broken in our lives because of the cross. And we thank you that we can move forward in serving you. But we, we acknowledge that we are weak, that we need to depend on your resources and your strength. And so... We do thank you for this opportunity to pray and bring things to you that we don't understand, things that are beyond our strength, things that are far away, what we can't go and be involved in. And so we bring the world to you, Lord, this, this, this evening, um, struggling with different crises, Particularly, we think of the pandemic, which seems to be affecting the whole world. And we, we pray that your will will be done. Your kingdom will come. Uh, in spite of, or even because of, the pandemic. We, we acknowledge that many of us have come to Jesus, come to the cross because of crises in our lives. And perhaps that you, this is a crisis that you are allowing to happen, to bring people to their knees, to bring people to turn from trusting in our, ourselves to turn to you and to come humbly to the cross in repentance and faith. And so we pray that your will be done in this. We, we do want people to be healthy and, and, and happy. And yet we realize that perhaps this isn't always your way because we are sinners and we need to turn away from that sin. And you use crisis to do that. So we pray that people will have hearts open to your message of truth that we need to turn to you, the living God, who is able to remake lives destroyed by sin. Give us hope for the future. And we do pray for wisdom for world leaders as they face other crises, wars and conflicts and political decisions, we do pray that you'll give them wisdom. May they humbly accept that uh, they need to depend on advisors and, and have hearts open to your truth. We pray for Christians in leadership positions, particularly, that they will stand firm against pressure to compromise their faith and that you will give them courage to speak out for you and for your standards as they address the climate around them. We pray for those who are persecuted for your name's sake, that you will keep them close to you that they'll receive the help they need. And that even in the times of, of difficulty, that they will be able to share the gospel with people around about them. We, we pray for our own country, Lord, and for uh, the Christian leaders throughout our own country in different Christian organizations and in churches. We pray that you will uh, lead them forward. Help us as we come out of COVID restrictions. Give creative ways to meet together, to fellowship together. That the church will grow and take opportunities you give to us. Thank you for those people who have been attending churches in greater numbers during the lockdown. We pray that these people will continue to join in reality in the future. And we, we pray specifically for our own elders here as we meet at the end of the month uh, to plan and pray. Pray that you'll guide us.
to about our own church here in Sanderford. We want to pray tonight, Lord, for those of our members who are struggling, those who are lonely and depressed and anxious. We pray that you'll meet their needs. Encourage them, we pray. Give them friendship. Give them fellowship. Speak to them from your word. Assure them of your love and your purpose for them. Take away the lies of the devil. Shine your truth into their hearts, we pray. And may they stand firm in yourself. Help us, Lord, as we care for each other in our church here. Help us this week as we plan to visit and to phone and the virtual meetings we have to play our part, to encourage each other, to speak for you. And now as we come to the time when we uh, look into your word as Ian comes to preach, we pray that you'll open our hearts to your truth and that we will be blessed. We do thank you for uh, the these um, messages we have had from Ian over the past few weeks, for the clarity, for the clear application to our present situation, for a deeper understanding of of your purpose for us. And we, we thank you and we look forward to this time together and we pray that, that you will bless Ian and his family and his work for you and continue to inspire him as he, as he preaches in different places. So be with us now, Lord, and hear our prayers. We commit the rest of the time to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Now before we look at the scriptures together, let's sing this song, God of grace. <laughs> 